Hello everyone, welcome to another Power Talk with Achna. Today we are talking about computing solutions for various corporates, business houses and MSMEs. I have a very special guest with me, Mr. Pugal Tyagraj, who's been the Associate Vice President with Tally Solutions Private Limited for past 15 years. And today he's the founder and CEO of Potential Solutions currently working as the senior consultant for Tally. Tally, the GST-ready accounting software used for billing, inventory, and compliance by over 106 million business owners across 100 countries. Pugul has 37 years of wide-ranging experience in the field of accounts, inventory, statutory, and product training. Pugul is a part of my professional network and based in Bengaluru, India. He has conducted over 300 GST domain sessions for various stakeholders like chartered accountants, tax practitioners, and MSMEs. He has created his footprints and his excellence in corporate training and tally implementation, not only in India, but also across UAE. Let's welcome Pugal on board. Hello, Pugal. How are you doing? I'm fine, Archana. Thank you very much. Lovely to have you here, Mr. Tyagraj. Mr. Tyagraj, tell us one thing. Computing solutions is one of the most important aspects for any enterprise. Now, what is your role there as a corporate trainer helping people out with tally solutions? Okay. So firstly, let me uh, thank you, Archana, for uh, doing a wonderful job in bringing the knowledge base uh, for the human uh, kind. Uh, really appreciate uh, and I wish you keep continuing and keep spreading the knowledge. Okay, so Tally, uh, uh, if you see Tally has been uh, in uh, the market for the last 33 years and uh, it is we, Tally has been a technology partner for uh, SME segment and uh, you know, I mean like, I mean like almost, you know, if you see the market share of Tally today is almost 85-90%. See, the most important thing for any business is that uh, they have to choose a uh, right uh, accounting software or a business software which can actually you know help them in managing their businesses and operations very well and today uh, basically if you see you know choosing a technology becomes a little you know a very difficult like you take for an example uh, if you want to uh, buy a laptop you know you're confused I mean, like which one to buy and what kind of configuration you need to buy and similarly in kind of a mobile. But uh, generally, if you see today the software, uh, you have a lot of software. But most important thing that the user needs to uh, keep in mind is that what is their current need and uh, what are their future growth path based on that is what you know they choose and tally is the right fit for many of the msmes where you know i mean they can they, they can start off with the, as a startup and then as they grow tally you know allows them to uh, you know keep implementing and growing along with their business they can start expanding it the other very important aspect or the critical aspect that every uh, is, uh, uh, MSME or a person who is intending to buy tally is there a certain thing that you need to basically uh, think uh, or from a long term perspective like for example is it easily upgradable is it is it uh, is this software that i'm going to buy uh, is it you know uh, easily integratable between a third party software and the most important thing is that the support i mean like in case if they are stuck do i mean like do they get the support and uh, the other other very very important critical aspect is that the 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 availability of manpower so if you see in all these areas tally has given I mean, like put up very very strong footprint in india and also across the world so tally right. as a support uh, uh, system where you know they have a call center of about 400 plus people and then you know i mean like tally also has an a training or an education uh, 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 wing which you know which basically you know i mean like uh, trains people so th today there are almost about 5 5 lakh plus students who have trained on tally so that way wow. it becomes very easy for uh, a person to buy the other simplicity of the tally is basically 
uh, you really don't have to worry about uh, you know how many how many like should i have to buy uh, generally today if you see you have a five seater 15 seater and the buying process in tally also is very very simple i mean like there are only you know two version of tally one is single user multi user and uh, the other one uh, the, one is the single user and the other one is the multi user and in case of multi user it is unlimited multi user so you really don't have to think about okay okay what tomorrow if i grow from five man uh, company to a 50 person 50 people company I mean, like what do i need to do so you really don't have to worry so the whole buying uh, experience for a user uh, from a tally's uh, perspective is very very simple and definitely, you know, technology is going to play a very important role yeah. and uh, every business need to have some kind of a business solution for them to be on top of their business operations. Right. I think Mr. Tyagraj, that's absolutely correct on your part to say it's very important for any computing system, you know, the uh, software that we purchase to be easily be upgradable. Very, very much appreciate the fact that Tally has the right infrastructure to support the after sales, you know, of the of their software packaging. I think that is really amazing, and this thing really needs to be kept in mind while the consumer makes a choice for buying what computing software they need to, you know, venture into. Amazing. Tell me one thing. You know, now there are, you know, companies, there are small businesses who really cannot afford to buy an expensive software, computing software. Nonetheless, they cannot really work or function well without having one because it's important to compute every possible detail. Now, keeping that in mind, you know, I think there's a lot of, there are a few businesses that are still involved in a lot of manual data that needs to be fed. Now, how does companies get relieved when they resort to a computer, a computing software like Tally? Okay. So, so if you see, especially from an accounting perspective, first, if you take from an accounting perspective, if you see manual accounting is basically one is, you know, it's, it's a tedious uh, uh, activity that you need to keep managing your books. And especially if you see in your managing accounting system, the information that you're looking for is not going to be instantaneous. Number one, right. number two is that, you know, I mean, like you need to do a lot of repetition and, you know, there is, you, you are prone to make errors. You know, I mean, like, you know, in a manual system, like, for example, if you see, um, say, about in 80s, when computers were not there, when I was doing my uh, college and my article for uh, CA. Okay. So we, at that point in time, we never used to have computers. And, you know, manual accounting used to be so tedious. You know, you have to capture all those transactions and then you need to post yeah. them into those specific ledgers. You need to total yeah. them. And then, you know, you need to draw a trial balance. Now, drawing a trial balance is like a major, major activity. And if the trial balance tallies, you know, that day it, it, it is a, it, it's like a celebration day kind of a thing. Right. Yeah. So the, the, the most important thing is that, you know, I mean, like as a business today, see today, the technology is, uh, I mean, like has uh, taken every aspect of uh, a person's lifestyle. So it is important, especially for you in business to get your information. See, because, you know, I mean, like the information is knowledge, right? So the right. moment you get this information, you can take informed decision. So it is always better. I mean, like to start with, you can use any kind of a technology, but it is always advisable today that you use a system which is integrated system because the compliance system Absolutely. also requires for you to be uh, providing a lot of information at any point in time. So that way, adopting a technology uh, or a business solution or an accounting solution for the organization will help. Uh, the you know the organization to get the information i mean like you know they can have their accounting information managed then they can have their inventory supposing if they are a trader or a manufacturer so they can have you know they will have control over their movement of inventory and uh, definitely the compliance part gst being the major indirect taxation because you know every business you know uh, are covered under GST and compliance of GST is uh, is quite quite uh, tedious because you know you have to give a lot of information in GST. So that way, adopting a technology helps them to be on top of their business, top of the compliance. And the best part is that they can you know the, the data can be uh, uh, retrieved faster as and when they require it. And that's the most important uh, advantage of uh, you know adopting a technology. 
Very right, very right. I think you're quite right there, Mr. Tyagaraj. It's quite important for all of us to resort to a good software so that, you know, the month, month ends are, you know, are quite relieved. You know, we don't get into the hassles of drawing information from all sources. Everything is integrated, be it the sales, the purchase, the expenses. With that kind of an ERP, I think the month end also and the quarter ends become much easier. What are your thoughts there? Yeah, uh, and let me take this current situation. Now, this pandemic crisis has really put every every business, you know, almost, you know, I mean, like uh, the entire world has moved 10 years back, right? So yes. it is very, very important now today to be on top of your business and see how you are able to manage your business. So if you take this pandemic situation and this is, seems to be going to stay for quite some time, and the new norm with which we are going to now uh, exist is going to be social distancing online and other thing. So from a business perspective, what I feel is the most important thing is the, uh, the three pillars of business is very, very critical. So the three pillars of business is one is your receivable and payable manage, uh, management. The second is your cash flow management because it's very, very critical because, you know, today, almost you know every msmes are struggling with the cash flow and the third aspect of it is the inventory management the lean inventory management in case of a trader or a manufacturer now if you are adopting a technology for example if if you are using tally how can you leverage this uh, the software that you are using or the technology that you are using just to give you a yeah. simple example how it could help msmes to be on top of managing their businesses during the crisis time is that one is the receivable and the payable management see generally what happens right. uh, one see one is that yes you can you have to how do you now uh, sail through this uh, crisis period is manage your cash flow is one aspect of it yes. the second aspect of it is that uh, basically, you know, I mean, like, how can you cut your costs? How can you, you know, increase your bottom line? So if you see, right. one, the one is, if you take from an expense point of view, one is the visible expenses, which, you know, you have control. Maybe you will have control over it, or you can reduce the expense or eliminate it or something. But, you know, many a times what happens, many of them, you know, during my, uh, in this last, past few years, my interaction with the uh, MSME owners and during those sessions and interactions with them, what I've realized is that many of them are not concentrating on the invisible or the sunken cost is very important. So yeah. if you, for, I'll, I'll give a use case or I will give you a visualization of how, uh, when you are using Tally, how you can, you know, take this situation and then convert it into your best uh, possible uh, situation so that you are on top of it. So one is the uh, receivable and the payable management. Now, if you take the receivable and the payable management, Tally has uh, a, a, a receivable payable management uh, module. Basically, it's called as a billwise detail. So by enabling billwise detail and by setting up the uh, credit period, the, the uh, businesses or the owner now will actually have better control over their credit that they are offering and also there is an option in tally where uh, you can set up a credit limit so that means basically you are now setting up a limit so that you know any outstanding uh, if if any particular outstanding is there up to the limit then in case if the customer needs additional uh, billing to be done so the the system should basically you know alert or you know stop wow. from do, making an additional invoice because you know i have already set my credit limit so these are these are the two important aspect of it. The third important aspect of it is that you know we have another module called interest calculation module in Tally. Now today's in today's world it is very difficult uh, for you to charge interest on overdue uh, bills or outstanding yeah. from the oh, yeah. uh, customer. Yeah. But then you know you can use this for your what if scenario. Like basically what happens like. Uh, the businesses generally have a credit period based on various uh, uh, parameters that they apply. And, you know, they right. let's say that they give an average credit period of 30 days. Now, right. as long as 30 days is there, you know, there's a sustainable period for them. That's how, you know, they come to a, a credit uh, period. Now, any amount that is outstanding beyond the credit, uh, normal credit period, and there is a loss of return on investment. 
And generally, if you see most of the uh, uh, MSMEs today, their working capital is funded by banks. So they take loan, right? There is a working capital loan or some term loan or whatever. I mean, like majority of them are on loan. And uh, if you see, they pay interest on the borrowed loan. And right. any any sales that you make, a credit, especially a credit sale you make to your customer, literally you are giving them the working capital free of cost, which is free of interest. Absolutely. Right. So Absolutely. within thirty days, if you are able to get it, it is fine. So any anything beyond that becomes very difficult. Now, many of them are not able to visualize or have a uh, hold on what is the loss of interest that uh, they are losing. Uh, beyond uh, any outstanding beyond the specified uh, credit period so right. in this case what happens in fact you know one they pay interest to the banker and right. you know in fact you know the interest the, 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 the capital that they have given or the working capital that they have provided to the customer they in turn pay interest it's it's like almost Absolutely. like a double whammy right so this Absolutely. is one area where you know you can you know you know bring those suite of uh, functions and features in tally and you know get get this information by click of a button so you can you can have a clear overview statements on a daily basis you will see what are the receivables what payments are there and by doing this the most important thing is that by doing this you have uh, this cash flow fund flow uh, information that is there in tally which you can immediately you know view them and also you can have a cash projection if we are uh, properly managing your receivable and payable management the the cash flow projection is automated and the best wow. part is that you know uh, one yes you have your receivable payable management you are now managing it properly there are other expenditure which are there which needs to be uh, which are like you know recurring in nature and the fixed cost which you need to pay on month on month basis maybe you are emi or you are other fixed costs which are there so tally allows the user to you know capture them as a provisional transaction and incorporate this provisional tra transaction into the cash flow which gives them a hundred percent proper cash flow since they are including every receivable payable into that they they'll have a better control over the cash flow management the third wow. aspect is uh, the inventory management now how do they manage how do they how do they manage their inventory so how do they keep a, a lean inventory for example many of us again these are these are some of the uh, uh, methodology once it is adopted uh, they have a better control over the cost right so this is the, the other aspect of it the, the next one is basically uh, do you have control over your committed orders Right. So, right. do you have visibility right. of what are the orders that you have committed, so that you know you can make up, meet up to that commitment? Is one. And also, do you have a track of all the orders that you have placed? What orders are, are going to come today, and what? How? How is your cash position? So, if you see this whole thing, you know, I'm talking about yeah. the outstanding management and managing your cash flow along with the inventory oh. gives a clear visibility for the organization, and they can, you know plan it properly rather than you know uh, it's like you know reacting to a situation you know these information allows them to respond to a situation and do whatever contingent plan are required those contingent plan can be done by the businesses so that's that's where exactly that's where you know the the, the technology or tally as a software uh, really helps the businesses to be on top of their businesses Absolutely. I think this is really amazing. It's so very important to have the right computing software for you. It completely helps you in recovering your losses or not letting you get into losses. You know, I think the point where uh, Mr. Thyagraj talks about, you know, the double interest that you are paying, you have, uh, you're already using capital, you're already using borrowed loans from the bank, you're paying interests there. You're also paying interest on the money that has not come back to you because you've actually waiting for your payments to come back to you. I think that's amazing highlight out there. So we really need to make sure that we hold such softwares which help us understand and bring us, you know, the, in focus the list of people from where whom we need to recover our money. Of course, he also talks about inventory management. Again, that's very important for us to, 
you know, liquidate our inventory in time because again, we are paying interest. If your inventory keeps lying with you, it's not being sold, then it's you're again, you know, it's all about interest on your inventory, which is again a loss on the investments you've made. Lovely, I think that's really amazing. So tell us, uh, Mr. Tyagraj, you were also talking about, you know, MSMEs, they're still struggling with the GST compliances. You know, we have been talking a lot about GST, but we see they're still, uh, you know, struggling with the GST compliances. How does Tally address these compliance needs? Okay. Uh, see, Tally, uh, Tally as a ERP uh, basically meets the requirement of the entire requirement of the businesses, especially the small and the medium uh, businesses, of course, the micro business. Yeah. So tally, if you see broadly, tally has three modules. One is the accounting module, which takes care of your financial part of it. Then it takes care of your inventory and uh, the statutory compliance also is there in tally. And in fact, uh, the, the, the uh, GST solution that tally is provided is very, very simple and uh, every business can actually, you know, maintain. So the, uh, the uh, configuration of GST is very simple and uh, the way the uh, product uh, is designed for your GST compliance is based on three principles, prevention, detection and correction. So how can you prevent the error? And how quickly, in case if the error is already you know, made or committed, but then how can you detect those error, right? So, okay, if you have detected this error and how quickly can you correct those error so that you know right. i mean like when you are filing your information when you are filing your return uh, on the portal for gst purpose i mean you should be confident enough that yes the data is trustworthy and i am now confident that i am uh, uploading the data as per the requirement of the uh, gst uh, department so how right. the way that the way the gst compliance system works in tally is that it is very simple. In fact, you know, uh, a person can uh, uh, see generally you know, the perception people have is that, for example, now I'm already in the month of August. So I should, you know, uh, enable or I should, uh, you know, manage the GST compliance in tally from the beginning of the financial year. Right. No, at any point in time, you can see already, let's assume that, you know, three, four months you have already uh, not used the tally GST module. You have been using normal tally data. Or somehow you are managing your compliance. But any given day, you can actually start, you know, implementing GST in tally. It is that simple. So you, I mean, the way you configure your master is, uh, you know, you can configure your GST rate, the HSN code, SAC code. Everything can be wow. configured at the company level. Uh, which means literally, if I, if I just give uh, one simple example, let's assume that there is a business, they are dealing in one single rate of GST, say 18% GST, yeah. and uh, all the products, say they, they are dealing in about 500 uh, products. So they don't have to go and then configure each and every item saying that this item is 18% and all. So at the company yeah. level, when they are enabling GST, they have to just specify this is 18% and they specify the HSN or the SAC code, SAC. What Tally does, it automatically inherits all those GST configuration to each of the item that they have in their uh, company. And the best part is that at a later point in time, if any new items are getting added, right? So it automatically inherits the rate. So which means for a user, if somebody is using Tally, let's say if, if a business is using Tally for the last five, 10 years, and they have been passing their normal purchase entry, sale entry, and the same way yeah. they pass the purchase entry, sale entry, and then they have to just select the tax ledger. By doing that, automatically the GST compliance is ready. Now, the next question somebody might feel, feel that okay, I mean, like generally uh, businesses would not deal in one single rate of GST. Uh, they might be multiple, the item that they are dealing could be multiple rate of GST. So the way the product is designed is one, you you uh, configure at the company level. In case you have any item, now I'm talking about a trader or a manufacturer. In case you have any item, uh, if the rate is different, then, you know, I mean, Tally allows you to configure uh, at the stock group level. Where, where again, you know, it inherits all these uh, the values that have been captured in the stock group. It inherits everything at the stock item level, wow. and also you can configure. So that means at different level, 
wherever there is change happens at a different level you can do it only for those particular group of items the next question people right. might be wondering that okay fine i'm not a dealer i'm i'm, I'm not a trader i'm not a manufacturer i'm a, a, a service provider i'm a professional i don't have yeah. uh, inventory to manage in tally but tally does tally allows i mean can i can i use gst compliance in tally uh, even though i am not dealing in any product yes tally allows you at the same uh, you know the design principle works even as a service provider you can specify whatever is your major service specify the rate of service at the company level in case if there are some service that you provide where there is a different uh, uh, rate of uh, gst is applicable uh, you can you can you know specify again at the next level that is i can specify wow. at the company level accounting group level or at the accounting ledger level so that it automatically picks up the uh, rate and then you know it automatically computes the tax so by configuring this at the master level and when you are creating your customer or vendor master if you are able to specify that whether this person is a regular dealer or a composite dealer or an unregistered dealer or are you supplying to an sez with payment of gst without payment of gst when you are importing when you are exporting are you exporting with payment of igst or without payment of igst so these these configurations you know it's a one time configuration the user needs to do it once you the user does this configuration the best part is that you know every transaction of a party based on the configuration whether he is a, a regular dealer composite dealer or if i am selling to a registered dealer who is an sez so what happens is those values will automatically get fetched from the software and it populates in the respective table of your wow. gstr1 return or your gstr3 b return the next thing Amazing. is that there are uh, there are some uh, you know uh, reversal entries to be done reverse charge mechanisms are there everything is taken care in fact tally takes care of your e way bill generation Uh, also so this way what happens you know tally provides for a person to do some reversal like you know i mean as per law there are some uh, ineligible input tax credit or negative list credit if they have availed they have to reverse it now does tally allow yes tally allows it so all those things based on your master configuration you can do it and once you have configured the master when you are passing the transaction if any of the information is missing or if any of the information have been selected wrongly which is not as per your master configuration tally you know provides a warning so you can you know see that tally tells you 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 are not done it so just to give you a simple example uh, the the place of supply so for example i am in uh, karnataka and uh, i have a customer to whom i am selling uh, goods to karnataka or supplying services right so right. let's say my my data entry operator or my junior accountant is passing the transaction now when he is passing the transaction he is supposed to charge in case of a intra state supply he is supposed to charge cgst and sgst just i'm just giving a weird example in let's say just in case he is not selected the cgst sgst but he selected igst the moment he selects igst tally is going to give a warning saying that and first is it is not going to compute the tax because yeah. they is selected the wrong uh, ledger and when he is trying to save right. tally is going to give a warning saying that say hey look you have not selected the right tax ledger so that way now this is what is basically the prevention part so when you are capturing the data tally you know verifies with your master configuration and then prevents you from uh, you know committing the basic or the fundamental error in spite of that if somebody is saved the voucher not you know was not keen on looking into the uh, uh, message that tally is provided he saves the voucher and then goes now when he is going to file the return there is a file return summary and you have a reconciliation statement which is very very critical yeah. in that reconciliation statement tally is now going to validate and then it is going to you know check whether have you passed your entries as per the master is part a and part b tally is also going to see in every data that you have now captured what are the other missing information which are there Uh, which is required yeah. mand mandatorily for you to have a proper data to be filed so in wow. that reconciliation statement it you know basically allows the user to you know see if there is any error uh, they can just you know drill down go and see and tally is also going to you know uh, uh, allow the user to see what is the nature of 
uh, mismatch or the error that is committed and the person right. can you know actually just drill down and then uh, he can correct it uh, from the return itself the moment he corrects it you know if the mismatch everything is uh, removed and it it will say that okay you don't have any mismatch so that way now the data which he has got now after correcting all the error 100% that data is as per the requirement of so uh, the written uh, summary where you know the reconciliation uh, statement is there now the user will come to the uh, written summary and the, which is basically a reconciliation statement and their tally is going to now uh, find out if there are any mismatch or any uh, error that is committed like it is going to now uh, you know give you the number of transactions where there is an error so all the user needs to do is you know just you know drill down and then you know the best part is tally is also going to uh, allow the user to know what is the uh, nature of uh, mismatch or missing information that wow. are available so you know i mean it gives you category wise if there is any error in the taxation part if you have not captured the gstn of the uh, supplier or the customer yeah. you know, then if, if various other aspect of it. just to give an example uh, if you are if you are raising a credit note okay there are three important field is uh, necessary to be captured in the credit note one is the original invoice number the original yeah. invoice date and the reason for the credit note now if these three information are not captured tally is going to say that this is there is an incomplete information and it also yeah. allows the user to actually know what is the nature of mistake or the error that is created he can drill down and then he can specify those information and it automatically corrects it and the best part is that any information that is corrected it goes and updates in the back end with the specific uh, transaction and if any correction that is done for the first time in 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 case of a master like for example gstn was not specified so now i yeah. find out the gstn i enter the gstn in my return summary so the moment i enter yeah. that tally in the back end goes and updates the master so that any master related uh, uh, missing information when you are entering through your written form uh, subsequently you are not going to get that error so you know i mean like every time the user need not have to keep uh, repeatedly doing the same kind of an error these are the kind of intelligence that is built uh, inside the uh, wow. product and the moment your mismatch or your errors are corrected it is going to say okay no more errors are there it's going to say zero errors wow. or zero match or incomplete so that is the confidence that the user is going to get where now the data that is going to uh, upload uh, in the specified return is 100% uh, they can be 100% confident that data is completely compliant as per the requirement of the specified form so what they can do is tally provides two uh, method of uh, exporting the data one is that they can directly export a json file and uh, log into the portal now from within tally there is a button provided where you say log into my portal so you just click there it opens your uh, gst portal all you need to do is just log in there and upload the file is one thing wow. the second the tally allows is that uh, some people would want to export it in excel format so tally in case of a gstr1 tally automatically uh, creates an excel format as per the specified format of the gst department the person can export into excel view what information he is going to he is going to upload and then you know you, using the uh, uh, offline tool which is provided by gstn they to, it's a it's a three step process that they have to do and they can upload the data so the the gst compliance in tally is very very simple and uh, for all type of business whether you are a trader whether you are a manufacturer or a service provider the com the compliance of gst is very simple in tally and uh, you can you know i'm like confidently file your return by using the gst uh, module in tally that's amazing mr tyagraj i think you've really mentioned all the possible pointers that can help people understand that tally is the one of the most intelligent technology solutions to meet the erp requirements of all the sma smmes thank you so much for coming on board and speaking to our audiences i think this has been one very exhaustive and then very very informative uh, conversation on uh, how one can really ease out their computing solutions to all the smmes thank you so much for coming on board mr tyagraj it was absolutely amazing to have you with us and i'm sure my audience are definitely going to benefit out of this thanks a lot thank you, thank you very much
That was Mr. Pugal Tyagraj for you, the man who knows the in and out of accounting software Tally. If your business and its needs are unique, so is Tally. Tally has been designed to be free of any rigid processes. You talk about invoicing, inventory, GST compliances, the inward, the outward, the accounting, the audits. Tally does it all for you at the back of your call. If you are looking for an accounting software that is of your life and manages your business for you the way you would like it, Tally is your solution. I hope all this information really works for you. I wish you all the best and stay tuned for more.